Welcome to the Electrochemistry for Undergraduate. The code number of this course is ACE31201. ACE stands for Advanced Chemical Engineering. Here we go to the Electrochemistry world with a syllabus. My name is Hyun Gon Sung from Energy and Chemical Engineering, UNIST Korea. I'm an electrochemist and also, of course, my research topics are closely related to electrochemistry. Course description. Again, ACE 312 Electrochemistry, which is designed for undergraduate. The lecture room is like that, building number and room number and the time and uh, the weekdays for this lecture. What is the course of electrochemistry for undergraduate? This course covers fundamentals of electrochemistry, including several concepts and topics. The first one is redox reactions. As you know, redox indicates the reaction of reduction plus oxidation. This kind of reactions are the core reactions of electrochemistry. The second topic is electrochemical cells. Usually we have two different electrodes and also between them we will have an electrolyte. So electrode and electrolyte are the main keywords for electrochemistry. The third and fourth topics would include thermodynamics as well as kinetics related to electrochemical systems and also you will learn about the various electrochemical methods plus some applications. Prerequisite Two semesters of freshman chemistry and a semester of physical chemistry. Although these courses are not absolutely necessary as long as students have a strong motivation to study. In other words, I don't care about your prerequisite. The next thing is, of course, textbook. Allen Bird, Larry Faulkner's Electrochemical Methods, Fundamentals and Applications. This book is a kind of the Bible in the electrochemistry world. What is the Bible? As you know, everybody has the Bible, but nobody reads the Bible. I mean, this Barden Faulkner book is a little bit difficult to you, so sometimes it's not helpful for this course, Electrochemistry for Undergraduate. However, sometimes you should refer to this great book for your in-depth understanding. So please try to read this textbook. Again, Electrochemical Methods, Fundamentals and Applications by Alan Bird and Larry Faulkner. The final one is grading. Of course, letter grading like A, B, C, D, F. And six absences indicate F. The grading is made by 100% examination uh, com uh, consisting of 50% midterm and 50% final. And also one more thing, 10% extra point you will get from assignment and attendance. Again, my name is Hyung Gon Song and you can reach me at my office at the building number 104 and here is the room number, here is my email. Also, uh, you, we will and also we have already had some uh, chatting room in Kakaotalk. Through the uh, chatting room, you will ask something to me and to your friend. Also, you will get some answers about that. 
Uh, here's the the name of my research lab. It is uh, pronounced like ECLA, standing for Electrochemistry Lab of Advanced Technology. Teaching assistant, you will get the information about the teaching assistant in your Blackboard systems. Here is the schedule of this course. In the first column, week. From first week to the 16 week. And the second column is about the period. The first week is March the first week. Or 13th week is May the fifth week. Or something like that. And also, in the third column, content. And in the fourth column, the reading material, material corresponding to the content. Then let me overview the whole schedule. In the very first week, we learn about the basics of, of electrochemistry by using two thought experiments. And also you can read some handouts uploaded in the Blackboard system. In the second week, also you will get some basics of the electrochemistry by using your, maybe your, general chemistry book. So this general chemistry book is Meng, Murray, and Fei. The title is just Chemistry, Chapter 17. And then we learn about the electrodics. Here is some explanation about the electrodics. We have an electrochemistry world, and this electrochemistry world have two things. The first one is electrodics. And the second one is ionics. We we'll learn about the ionics later here. Ionics. Of course, electrodics is related to the studies on electrodes, where actually the interfaces between electrode and electrolyte. And what's the ionics? Of course, the ionics is the topics related to the ionic conductors or electrolyte. The, in a summary, electrodes, electrodics is related to electrode and ionics is related to the electrolyte. Also, let's get back to 2A, the basics of electrodics. We will learn about the electrodics first here and there. And then you will go to the, the, the electroanalysis chapter about 2B. Uh, you will learn, up, learn the various electrochemical analysis techniques from this chapter. So let me check the reading material here. For example, here BF means uh, Bard and Faulkner textbook. I have introduced in the previous slide uh, 1.2 to 1.3 plus 5.1 plus 6.1 plus 7.1 is devoted to the content of the overview of electroanalysis. So please use this reading material. Uh, in the sixth week, you, you will learn about the kinetics of Faraday reactions in the mass transfer limited system. And then, and then the following week. Then midterm, FR22. Wednesday, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Please check the midterm schedule on your calendar. Then, after the midterm, we learn about more kinetics, about steel Faraday reaction, but charge transfer limited system. In these chapters, we learn about the Faraday reactions in mass transfer limited system. However, in these two chapters, we learn about the same thing in the charge transfer limited system. So two cures are here. I have said mass transfer and charge transfer. Those concepts are very important thing for deriving some equations in electrochemistry. Anyway, we learn about that. The other electrodes about electric double layers. Then 
you are going to the other half of electrochemistry world that is the ionics then extra things more difficult difficulties things uh, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy for two weeks and the other thing is rotating disk electrodes topics for another two weeks then we will go to the final examination on June 17 Wednesday 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. again please check this time for as your final examination in your calendar